What is life by Schrodinger in 1944? Hello students welcome to Dr Askar sir's biology classes This is the first class of class 11 Today we'll start the living world and here first I will discuss what is life The definition of life is one of the most debated topic in biology since ages There is so much diversity in the living world that it becomes very tough for scientists to come to a common conclusive point of definition of life where physicists and mathematicians are using probability and statistics to decode various biological phenomena computer engineers are using algorithm they are developing complex algorithm to find out a common fundamental nature until 20th century biology was just a subject of mugging up biologists had to deal with a purely descriptive way of dealing with what living things are biology was really very boring subject but from start of the 20th century with more application of darwinian concept of evolution and mendel's concept of genetics biology became a very hot topic among all the scientists there was a very interesting relationship between physics and biology from very early days you will be amazed to know that a doctor a german doctor julius von meyer is one of the founder of first law of thermodynamics that is the energy conservation principle that energy can neither be created nor destroyed he was also the first person to describe oxidation as a primary source of energy in living organism edwin schrodinger defined life as living things avoid decay into disorder and equilibrium so every non living substance every matter in the universe enter equilibrium the dead person cannot maintain his body temperature at the level of 37 degrees celsius so slowly the temperature will decay and it will go into equilibrium with the surrounding temperature so this can be explained by a term called entropy this term comes in the second law of thermodynamics Second law of thermodynamics states that the natural tendency of the universe is to become more and more disordered more and more random and this also determines the arrow of time so as time passes any substance gets more and more disordered say this is your drawing room as you keep things here and there and with time passing by the room becomes more and more disordered then someone has to do some work to again make things in order so to make things in order you need to do some work but as time passes it has the tendency to become disordered do living system follow second law of thermodynamics that is entropy increasing apparently a cell is not following that law it seems that a cell decreases its entropy while synthesizing that macromolecule this cell release some amount of heat and due to this heat entropy outside cell increased to an enormous amount interestingly biologist focus on that property of living thing that makes them seem almost miraculously different from all non living matter that is living things create and maintain order in a universe that is always tending towards more disorderness and from there the name organism came every organism is an organized structure but not necessarily in the same level there are various levels of biological organization starting from a simple atom to complex macromolecules like dna protein which further helps in the formation of the structure of cell and then cell forms tissues and then organ system so on. at the largest level of biological organization there is biosphere in case of reductionism scientists believe that understanding the simple parts or constituents of a system is crucial to understand the system itself so the two different ways of interpretation of biology are emergentism and reductionism in case of emergentism the simple parts of the system holds no value 
because the system itself has a consciousness and the simple parts of the system can only be studied in reference to the whole system whereas reductionism says the opposite let's explore different levels of biological organization and let's start with the highest level of organization that is the biosphere starting from deep sea hydrothermal vents to coral reefs to extreme temperature regions of deserts and polar regions of antarctica everywhere we can find different forms of life and these are different types of biomes. So here we can see a biome of tropical rainforest. So a water body of lake or river acts as an ecosystem. So in biome, we can get many ecosystems. And in each ecosystem, we can get many communities. Hello Tripura, I am Tomo I am Tomo Unna, I am in Ames Delhi, the MBBS Kori, third year. So I am very happy to be Tripura Ashi, Dr. S. K. Sarasha, to guide you. The coronavirus has been delayed for two days, but the exact date and time is very happy to know. So I am very much excited. Hi, I am Vishal Mukhopadhyay and I scored 634 in NEET 2019 and 99.66% tally in AIMS 2019. I was a student of Dr. S. K. Sarasha's biology classes and was thoroughly benefited. Hello, I am Nisha Mujandar. I started my class in 2012. In class 12, I have switched medical, so I didn't even study biology, so it was really tough. The daughter so well, concepts are very very important in biology. 